Hello, this is Tom from Never Center, and in this video, I'm going to show you the new things we've brought to you in Milo 2023.1, uh, which has some neat updates. Um, first of all, this has been updated. While I do this, I'll just be playing around with this uh, nice Chimera model, um, and because uh, some of the features are sort of under the hood things that I'll just be talking about and not really showing. But uh, it's a really neat model and really fun to play with. But um, one of the big things that we've done uh, that we've introduced in this version of Milo is that we upgraded it internally to Unreal Engine 5.2, which just brings on its own um, some nice speed and stability improvements. Um, so uh, hopefully you'll notice that, and maybe particularly if you use ray tracing in the options here. Uh, you'll see some nice quality improvements there. But one of the nice things that this also comes with is that on um, on a Mac, it now is, uh, by default, um, it's uh, compatible with ARM processors. So uh, there's universal, prime, universal binary support on Mac now. And uh, so those of you who have like an M1 or an M2 processor, um, you may notice uh, some nice speed improvements there. And again, that uh, comes with uh, just the update to the newer version of Unreal. Um, all right, next, uh, FBX import speed, we have improved quite a bit. So if you uh, imported a model before and um, it was in FBX format, uh, you may have noticed if, if it was a medium to high resolution model, it could take uh, quite a long time and we've uh, gone through and just sort of found um, some several different places where we could speed that up significantly and so your FBX models will import much faster. Um, next let's talk about the rendering pipeline. Um, so we uh, in previous versions of Milo the way Unreal works when we would render out something like this um, it would use a different pipeline from the one it does to display the image to do the actual renders and um, but we've got a better way now with the newer versions of Unreal that we can use the exact same pipeline so that the images that you render will be um, much closer you know pretty much exactly the same as what you see on screen here and it's also brought um, big improvements in memory usage and speed, particularly when rendering high-res stuff. So if I do this like 8,000 by 6,000 render, um, you can't see on your screen where I'm saving this, but I'll start saving it right uh, now. And it takes just a few seconds and then uh, it's rendered that nice 8K image and um, previously in Milo that could sometimes cause crashes or other issues um, so that's a, a nice big improvement there um, and then also um, when rendering like a turntable um, let's go into the color room to render this turntable and maybe let's put on studio lights something like this and let's turn off the depth of field so that it will look nice and be in focus everywhere. Um, so previously in Milo, when you would render a turntable, let's take this down quite a bit in resolution so we don't take forever to do this. Um, when you would render a turntable in Milo before, um, uh, you would just kind of have no idea when it was going to finish and if it was um, you know if there was ray tracing and whatnot or it was a long render it could be frustrating to wait a long time but now once you um, start saving a render so I'm starting saving it now you can see it will do a, a live spin while it's rendering it so you can see the progress and know all right when this guy comes back around then my video will be done and again, it's much faster and much higher quality than in the previous version of Milo. So um, we hope that you'll love these improvements. Um, try to 
listen to any feedback so please comment below and let us know what you think um, we'd love to see what you do and uh, we hope you enjoy it thanks